Hey, what's going on, all you podcast listeners? Listen to the Comcast. I am back. Cody is back. Hercules, 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 Hercules. Cody is back. How is everybody doing? I missed you guys. Missed all of you fucking beautiful people. Uh, I was a selfish prick. Not really. I was predisposed last week. Mm-hmm. And uh, let's be honest, Ryan, you didn't do half bad. No, <laughs> you Thank didn't you. do that bad. Thank you. <laughs> I was talking. I was talking to some people at work about it that listened to it, and they said that uh, said it wasn't too bad. They said you kind of repeated yourself a little bit. I tend to do that. I just talk that way. That's how I talk. It said it wasn't too bad, but from going from like episode one. Being 15 minutes and like ha- uh, two thirds of it was news stories that I had and it was just going off that. And I did like 35 minutes went by like that. And I was like, well, you I'm, know. Yeah, I'm not going to so, lie. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit mildly entertained through mm-hmm. most of it. Seven months of training. <laughs> I was. I was I was kind of enter- entertained by most of it. Yep. Uh, so not that bad. So I applaud but you. I am promoting myself to leader of this podcast mm-hmm. now. Uh, so I applaud you for taking over for that last week. Um and I imagine you probably couldn't do that very many more times. Mm, I don't know. I kind of liked it, actually. I don't think we should like promote you to leader. I don't think there's a leader. Well, I already said that I'm the uh, the actual superhero and you're the sidekick. So Yeah, I know. That's not true at all. You can't be a superhero. Yeah, I can. The, the older, more sophisticated, and then you're my boy. You're a minute older. So? I'm not your boy. Older. No. We're like the parody of superheroes. <laughs> okay, this week's Beer of the and Week. you can fit in the spandex. Oh, we're doing that? This week's Beer of the Week, everybody. Fuck, we're back to that. We got rid of them for one episode, everybody, but <laughs> I guess we're back. Holy shit. All right, go ahead. Make this quick. This week's Beer of the Week is my personal... One of my personal favorites, top five, uh, this is the Dragon's Milk uh, Imperial, or yeah, Imperial Stout uh, from New Holland Brewing Company uh, from uh, Michigan. Uh, This beer is, uh, like I said, an American Imperial Stout. Uh, It's 11% ABV. It is a barrel-aged Imperial Stout with roasty malt character. Uh, intermingled with deep vanilla tones, all dancing in an oak bath. And a reason why this is one of my personal favorites is because this is the very first craft beer I ever had years ago when I first wanted to try craft beers. Um, I bought this just because Dragon's Milk sounded like Dragon. I think Cone. I'm the one who told you about it. I think I no. bought it and didn't like it. I can't, I, I can't, it was years ago, I can't remember, but the, mainly the reason why I got it is because Dragon's Milk, to, to me, my preferred mine years ago, sounded like Dragon Cum, so I just bought it. Okay. And I, <laughs> because you wanted to drink it? I guess so. Okay. And I loved it, and that's this is why this is one of my personal favorites. Um, it's a great beer. Uh, if you like stouts, if you like strong barrel-aged beer, if you like the taste of, of whiskey, in your beer, in your mouth, uh, it, it's it's an awesome beer to try. I highly recommend it. It is black as 11:59 p.m. and it's just a great brew. So thank you to New Holland Brewing Company for making a great beer. And one of my first beers, very first one I ever tried. Let's get the episode. So what's going on, Ryan? You doing all right? What's going on with your uh, your face there? You got a little what? You got a little, a little no little, shave November, bitch. A little shit going on there. You, yeah, you got that nasty, like nasty, it. nasty, you know, fat man beard going. Filling in like an old lady's bush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Very stringy and wiry and nasty. <laughs> oh, man, like an old lady's bus. Here in a couple weeks, it'll be good. I need to, I'm starting to get like, I don't know, my hair does a weird thing where it starts growing like the middle of my cheek. Mine does the same it, thing. It'd look cool if it would finish out. There'd be like monster chops. Is what it would look it's like. It's not a fucking... No, I mine like does, if it filled out like right here... Mine does the same thing. It goes from our sideburns, yeah. and then it completely just does a meth head, just crime spree across our face to our chins. Like a Waze GPS right turn. Like it just like, you're like going down the road and it turns you into a cornfield, is what it does. Yeah, but I wish it just fill in right there and look like, I don't know. Like Wolverine, maybe didn't have like the monster. Yeah, yeah, they went all the way across his face. Yeah. I knew I knew a guy in college. He he grew those out because he could, and it looked it looked they look pretty cool. They look pretty cool. I don't know if you can tell what I did recently to my face. Uh, I don't know if you can see that there. What uh, uh, I kind of maybe um, cut it off. Cut what off? Do you not notice that there's no oh, hair right here? Why don't you just get rid of the other shit? It's or honey. right here. Yeah, I see it now. I, I was shaving my... I have a chin strap on my face for my facial hair. And I was shaving in the shower with no mirror, which is not what I usually do. Yeah, because that's smart. And I'm never going to do it again. And I thought I was being smart and I was getting behind it uh, around my jawline. And when I come out of the shower, there's nothing fucking there. And I have a really nice razor that cuts everything and you don't even know what's gone. Use that one in there. Which one? The one I got in, in there. It has clippers on the back and you can just cut it down. Well, that's, a, that's I know. I, I, Because it'll it'll come back in about a week and it'll start filling back Yeah, in. but then you look stupid. Why don't you just let them grow back at the same time? I trim the I trim this down. This this grows. Oh, whatever. But yeah, so I look like a fucking idiot right now and I showed people my new coworkers at my job and they started they proceeded to laugh at me. I never should have said anything about it. No. You should so, just let it go. Yeah. You have a good week? How's your week going? Good? Good so far. Yeah. I had a three day weekend because they're doing maintenance there at my job. All right, you got a us uh Schedule change. Or- yeah, so I had a three-day weekend, and I've been having fun so far. I uh, Yesterday, I went with Mom, which today's Saturday, but so yesterday, Friday, um, I went and hung out with Mom, and we went antiquing and went to this, like, Christmas. I heard. I, I heard all about this. Already. Oh, my God. It was fucking fantastic. I had the time of my life. I, I didn't hear about that, but I seen all the shit that uh, she bought. <laughs> It was so much fun. I bought shit too. Did you not see it? Yeah, I seen a few of them. Yeah, I bought a new. I don't know if I said this, but when we went to the Cover Bridge Festival, I bought a whiskey decanter and a tap handle. Well, we went, um, you know, antiquing and stuff, and we went to this one shop, and they had a bunch of whiskey decanters and a uh, another tap handle. So I got another tap handle and two more whiskey decanters for I think. I spent like 30 bucks or something like that, and I got a mug, like an Anheuser-Busch mug, so I did pretty good. I was pretty happy, but we went to this Christmas barn, uh, like 20 minutes away from my house, and it was pretty cool, but you just like walked in, and I didn't expect it. I turned the corner, and it's just like Christmas blew up in a building. Right. It's legit, just like a little shack. Like, honestly, no bigger than this fucking room, but it, like, weaves in and out, and you just go in there, and it's, like, lights and trees and all this stuff, and I bought some wax melts there, and, oh, my God, that place was, I was like, Mom, this is, like, fucking Santa's workshop. I said, this place is intense. That sounds pretty cool. But I was like, I can't, I never, like, when Christmas comes around and shit, I'm just like, whatever, I just blow it off, but... When, like, that, like, really got me in a Christmas spirit. Like, it was insane how crazy that thing was. Really? But everything in there was so damn expensive. But Yeah, mom told me she she literally, she spent a bunch of fucking money. Yeah, she spent a pretty, uh, pretty penny. But I guess that place is, like, really expanding because they got three buildings now. A whole, like, a whole building for stuff they charge a dollar for. It is ridiculous. But an entire building of dollar shit. Yeah. Damn. So 
Well, uh, old Ryan went out and did old lady shit, and I had a lot of fun. <laughs> sometimes hanging out, with, uh, sometimes hanging out with your mom, you can have a fucking blast. Well, yeah, I guess I'm gonna start collecting them things. I already got two tap panels and three decanters. Might as well, ex- uh, you know, expand my horizons. They make things where you can. Uh, it's like a board, and it actually has a size screw. Wait a second, dude. Did you just say that you found an interest in something? Yeah. Holy shit! Ryan's got a hobby. <laughs> Holy shit! But they holy shit! They sell holy shit. Anyway, they sell boards that you can buy, um, that you can get up to like twenty five or something, where they have them and you can just screw your tap handles on, and it's just one solid long board. And I thought about getting enough where I could like put it on like a stand by the window or something like that. I don't know, something cool. So yeah, I found I found something to do. Ryan shows interest, everybody. He's ready for a girlfriend now. No, I'm not. No. Mom was embarrassing the shit out of me. She was in there talking to them people, and she was saying, like, lying. She was lying and saying I was giving her a hard time about spending a bunch of money. Oh, mom um, lied about something. Yeah. Imagine that. Yeah. She's like, oh, and him and his brother give me shit for pointing at people all the time. I was like, you fucking pointed at everybody. Our, our mom has the worst manners. Yeah. Something about her retiring just means that she just, her manners just don't fucking matter right. at all. She likes to point and likes to talk about people in front of them. Yeah. So she was making, <laughs> making herself or making me feel guilty and making herself feel like. I don't know, mistreated or whatever, because <laughs> I was given, all I said was, that's a lot of money to spend. I asked her, I said, this thing's cool over here. I said, why don't you get that? And she's like, oh, but I, I like this tree over here. And I was like, oh, you need to get that. That's a good deal. And she's like, well, you know what? I'm going to get both of them. So she ended up getting both of them. And she was like complaining to them ladies, telling them I'm a bad fucking son. Or whatever. And then I was carried all her shit to the car like a damn butler. <laughs> so, I don't know. Yeah, but I had fun. And uh, going to a band tonight with mom. It was just a mom weekend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Weekend full of mom. Yeah, I, I guess it's just the old age. The older, not old age, but the older age thing. I think, I mean, we've talked about it before, I think. Once you get a certain age, you just don't give a shit about what you do anymore. No. Which, which is fine with me. I, I mean, you've earned that right, but I, I just hanging out with mom makes shit a lot. I, don't, I mean, I don't have sometimes. anything to do anyway. So if I didn't do anything, you know, and since our mom's retired now, she doesn't do anything. So she wants to go out more. And I, w- I would just be sitting at home anyway. I don't have anything to do. All my friends are married and have kids. So uh, just hang out with your mom's. Yeah. Chill with your moms. Nothing wrong with that. I I encourage everybody to hang out with their parents or older people. Older people are so fucking... I think older people are so fucking cool. I always want to hear stories from, from like, the old days and shit. I always want to hear them tell stories from, uh, from when they were kids or growing up. The older they are, the better. Like, the better the story, I think, because there's so much fucking insight. Like, this is a person that has lived... An entire life more than I have, and they know so much. Like when I talk about pulling out in front of mom, and you get on to me to not talk about pulling out. Uh, Yeah, you shouldn't. When when mom when mom lived through the sixties and seventies, the eighties and the nineties, I'm pretty sure she's good. I don't have to treat her like a child. I don't talk about her. It's just fucking gross. I don't care about her. It's just gross. It's just well, nasty. when your mom tells you when your when your mom tells you not to get somebody pregnant, and you say your pull out gain's pretty strong, I think that's a I think that's a logical answer to that. I mean, I know it's a joke, but just not all the time. It's not a joke at all. That's one hundred percent correct. My pull out game is one hundred percent awesome. Okay, <laughs> whatever <laughs> it should be. But older people are fucking awesome. I encourage everybody to just hang out. Just. If you see an older person, just ask them how their day is and be like, hey, how about that the Chicago fires? Want to go pay bridge? <laughs> <laughs> how about the Chicago fires? I'll whoop your ass in a game of chess. <laughs> just hang out with older people, man. Get they're your old wrinkles out. They're, they're, like, they're like tortoises that can talk. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. My week has been 
These past few weeks have been something else, man. The new job, which I love. Uh, this is my orientation and welcoming was last week. So this week was my actual first week on the job. I'm just going through all the training and all this other shit. It's completely different from my old one, but I'm going to love it. So I already love it a lot. I've met a new group of friends, uh, people that I, we've been, I've been hanging out with recently. They're great people. I met them in my orientation. Um, I love this new job. And eventually, once I get done with my training and everything, and I get back to the schedule that I want, uh, definitely have more time for the podcast, um, helping you more. Might even do the editing from now on, because you won't have enough time, and I'll have plenty of it. Yeah, well, I'll have plenty of time. Well, we'll have to switch the recordings <laughs> I don't around. you fucking it up. But I've still got a little while. I've still got quite a while before the schedule changes. But I love the fucking job, so if any of you guys are wondering out there, which you probably aren't. Nope. <laughs> but I, I definitely not. Love the new position. It's great. Great opportunity for me. Um, making a lot of new friends. Having a good time and enjoying life a lot more now. Oh, you made friends at school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it feels like, honestly. It's like Billy Madison. That's what I feel like, honestly. When uh we were going around and introducing ourselves last week when uh, during orientation, just telling a few things about ourselves, you know, this you like know, like fucking a, AA. Yeah, like a welcoming thing. Hi, my name's Cody. I'm a, I'm a recovering I'm alcoholic. I'm a sex addict. I'm a recovering alcoholic, a sex addict, and I, I love porn too much. And I love to put day old Twinkies up my butthole. That's, hey, I got a new story about Twinkies. Oh, great, perfect. There's nothing better than Dale. What drink. a segue! But we're not, we're not there yet. We still got to talk about. I love first. to masturbate with Dale donuts. Yeah, or fruit, fruit, peanut butter and jelly. I, that's not fruit. Apple pie. I'm just naming stuff you can masturbate with. You have personal insight in the masturbatory. Well, foods. apple pie was a movie. Okay, name 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 the top five foods that you could use. To masturbate with. You know one of them fried pies you can buy in the store? The what? A fried pie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut a hole in it. Yeah. Um, that. Um, maybe like a bean burrito. Um, Hot or frozen? Warm. Okay. (laughs) Okay, so we got the fried pies, pie pocket thingies in the boxes, and then a bean burrito. Um, you core a... I don't know, maybe something a little mellow. Maybe like a, a plum or something. I don't know. A plum? Yeah. Okay, um, okay. You f- a plum? Um, I don't know. I can't think of anything else. A hot dog bun. <laughs> That's only four. You got one more. Oh, fuck. Um, it's not a food. But remember them things where it used to be like a plastic bag and they filled it full of liquid and it had like the little plastic fishies in it and stuff. And you could like stick your finger in it and it would like unravel in itself. Yeah. Like the tube, the plastic yes. thing. That. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It was like a plastic. It's like the shit you got. <laughs> it's like At the, the aquarium. Yeah, it's like the shit you got in an arcade. For like for one of the prizes that you buy, <laughs> well, you know what I'm talking about. It's like a bag. It's like a bag flipped inside out. Yeah, in a tube. I know. I know exactly what you mean. It's got like blue liquid in it. <laughs> that pretty sure that's why they discontinued them because people were fucking them. <laughs> you want to know my top five? My no. Top, no. <laughs> no. You know. Okay. I, do three. <laughs> do three. Okay. Donut <laughs> with a hole in it. <laughs> okay. No, an eclair. An eclair. Yeah, an eclair. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so, an eclair. Custard. Custard eclair. Um, All right. An old-fashioned because you like them dry? No. No. Oh. Custard, not dry. Do you even know what an old-fashioned is? A cake donut? Oh, I love cake donuts. Yeah, they call them old-fashioned. No, fuck that. No. no. I think I saw that before and you're like, no, they're cake. <laughs> They're not old fashioned, they're cake donuts. Well, yes, they're made from cake, but they call them old fashions. Okay. All right, so a custard filled eclair. One more. 
No. You're just naming two donuts. More. Two more. You're just naming donuts. I only named one. Two Wait, more. Two. No, no, I, I took the I took the donut with a hole in the back. No, just the custard eclair. It's better to hold on to. <sighs> Hurry up. Okay. This is like the beer of the week. <laughs> a uh, <laughs> a a mildly microwaved spaghetti squash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and um uh uh, I don't, uh, multi-grain seed bread. <laughs> Ew. I don't fucking <laughs> It's like fucking a vegan chick. <laughs> you know, they, they use uh, like a vegan egg wash is um, chia seed jelly. Ew. Did you know that? You know, you know what the jelly on the chia seeds or whatever. Yeah. They so use, they soak them in water first. Yeah, this girl I know that's vegan. Yeah, they soak they soak them in water and they use that as an egg wash, like the jelly. Ew. It comes from that. This girl that's a vegan that I used to work with, she said that's what. So they, if you want to fry something. Yeah, that's your egg wash. This is chia seed jelly. That's and like the shit that's in a spam can. Yeah. It's probably exactly what it looks like. Yeah, that's it's they use that for egg wash and I always thought I'd like that'd make a good vegan lubricant. Yeah. <laughs> if you think about it. Vegans use chia seed jelly for lube. That's disgusting. <laughs> a vegan vagina. I don't know. Multi crane bread. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I was glad to be back. Glad to be back. Yeah, you fucking absent father. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Holy shit. So, oh, and I remember last week I talked about um, Bo and his little humping sessions. Well, if you uh, are on our... Uh, Instagram page. I posted a video of that today. I think it was today. It's today or yesterday? Maybe maybe it was yesterday. Yeah, I, I think it was yesterday. yesterday. If you want to see a dog fucking pillow, but it was throwback from 2016. If you want, so see, he's if, been doing that for that long. If you want to see a dog fucking pillow, uh, go on the Comcast Instagram. It, we it's great content. Yeah, with uh, some very Ryan, soft playing music. Ryan posts very very weird, weird, disturbing content. On the Comcast. So let's just say, if you want to see Asian girls sucking down an immense amount of food, yeah, um, a dog humping a pillow, um, what else? Um, the baby dolls. Uh, the bloody basement. F- freaky baby dolls. Uh, pig blood filled basement. Yeah. Uh, all kinds of all kinds of weird shit. Go over to the Comcast. On Instagram, and just check that out because we he he as in Ryan posts everything there. Oh, that <laughs> dog that ate that bird. Yeah, the dog that ate the bird is. Uh, I don't know. So yeah, if you want to see some weird shit, then go to the Comcast Instagram because hey, the, the posts the, are via Ryan. The category is they're all funny. So shut your mouth. I'm trying to remember what you talked about last week on the episode. Don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember? Nope. <laughs> That's bad. You have shit memory. No, it's just I rambled on. I had shit that I talked about. It's in the, it's in the trash can over there. <laughs> but I just wrote shit down I wanted to talk about, and then I talked about them. And then if that led me into something else, it did. If not, then I looked at something else on my piece of paper yeah. that I wrote down. And then next thing I knew, it was 35 minutes, and then I did two news stories, and flip flop, we were done. Did you did you see where... Um, <clears throat> nope, where, probably where, not. Where Logan Paul and KSI are going to box again? Uh, I know who Logan Paul is, I don't know who KSI is. KSI is another... Uh, another... Um, is he another... YouTube prick. Is he another YouTuber? Um... 
I think it. Yeah, I think KSI. probably they got all these YouTubers that think they're badasses have their own. Fight yeah, KSI. Club. KSI is another YouTuber. Uh, they boxed once before, and I think it was a draw. Um. Mm. So this is the second time they're actually fighting. So it's actually on tonight. This is the. 9th of November, so Saturday, November 9th, so it's actually on at 11 p.m. It's at the Staples Center in L.A. Um, So I think it was a tie last time. Uh, Why'd you say here in L.A.? I said, did I say here? (laughs) Sorry. Since the Staples Center here in L.A. We're here, brought to you by... We're not in L.A. We're in Midwestern Indiana, Los Angeles. We're in fucking Indiana. Indiana, Indiana, Los Angeles. Where it's fucking 38 degrees. Yeah, fucking ridiculous. How cold is it? I'm just glad I got my fucking uh, remote start to work again. Right. I That's what I need. If you live in the Midwest and you don't have a remote start, you are fucking crazy. People say which it's is, like, which oh, is what I am. it's a, uh, what do they say? It's a commodity or whatever. Or what do they say? It's a, uh, what if something's like you're privileged with something? What do they call that? I don't know. Privilege? No. It's like. People say it's a, it's a commodity or whatever, and but it's technically necessary here. It's just nice to have. Who wants to get in their fucking car and just freeze your ass off for ten minutes while their uh, vehicle heats up? I think I think that just the just you could just use you, not necessary. It's not, but it really is. It really if honestly, especially if you've got like a baby or old people. Or, honestly, it makes a big difference. It, Fuck yeah, it does. It makes a it makes a very big difference in in the Midwest or in places where it gets cold. Uh, it the remote start is a revolutionary device. It's the best thing since uh, electricity. Buying in bulk. No electricity. Uh, gross. Mom made chili. FYI. <laughs> What'd you do? Stop there and fucking eat? Fuck yes, I did. It is ridiculously good. I okay. love I love when my mom has food ready for me when I get there. No, I got some in the freezer, so fuck you. But <laughs> yeah, so they're boxing for the second time. Um, who do you think will win? Who gives up? I think fuck? it was a tie last time. I want to say, uh, but they're actually both pretty. They're they're both kind of jacked. So Logan Paul. Everybody, a lot of people know Logan Paul. If you don't know Logan Paul, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, a lot of people lo- know Logan he's Paul. A, he, he's a kind of buff white guy. Logan Paul the is other, the, the guy. Other guy is, the other guy is black. Yeah, KSI. He's, Logan, he's, Logan, Logan he's Paul. He's going to win. Logan Paul. Why? You know why. <laughs> I don't Logan need to Paul, answer that question. Logan Paul is the guy that uh, did the vlog in the Suicide Forest in Japan and he I'm had still a... Still talking about that? That was like four years ago, dude. Terrible reaction to it. That wasn't four years ago. That was... Yes, it was. No, it was not. It's 2016, even three years ago. Yeah, three no, years it ago. it wasn't. Google it, bitch. So that's Logan Paul for people who, if you don't know who he is, KSI is just another YouTuber from England, I think, actually. Um, but they're boxing for the second time, and I voted on... I voted that Logan Paul was going to win... Who do you think would win? Oh, what? Wait, you already said that. I already said. But the voting poll on uh, the website I was on, it was it did have KSI by like 70, 70% of voters to 20-something. 70%? 70%? Over 70% of voters voted for KSI to win. Good. Yeah. So, so that's what's going on tonight. And what am I looking... Oh, yeah. I'm looking up... Uh, the uh, Logan Paul shit. About what? When that was. When what was? The first his, one? His bad reaction. Huh? Uh, Logan Paul's bad reaction to the suicide forest. What? It, oh, it doesn't matter. I wanted the to see what it was. The video's deleted. No, I'm, I'm, no I just want to know when it is. Uh, I don't know. I don't it was 2017. 2017, so two years ago. Two years ago. You said it was like four fucking years ago. So? Doesn't matter. <clears throat> Other bullshit going on. And uh, Did you see where Kanye West said he's going to run for president in 2024? Uh, Kanye West is a fucking cult leader. He's an idiot. 
he fucking, uh, he's said, what did he say? Let's listen to another podcast. No, wasn't it? No, 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 no. It was on the radio. It was on the radio. I was going in to work and he is, what did he say? I think they talked about him running for president, but they also said that he has, uh, what do you say, uh, dubbed the title as preacher of his, like, uh, cult religion slash thing that he does up in the woods in the hills of California. If people don't know, it's like he gets people together and they all dress in white and they go up in the hills and... They do, like, uh, services, like church up there. And, like, he has a name for it now and all this stuff. What? Yeah. So he's, like, basically becoming a cult leader is what it looks like. Uh, so Kanye West <clears throat> says he announced his plan to run for president in 2024. But before potentially moving into the White House, the rapper might change his name. Speaking at... Uh, Speaking at Fast Company's Innovation Festival, uh, West, who's 42, was joined on stage by his Yeezy collaborator, Stephen Smith. So, he might run for president. No, he's not. <clears throat> he ain't going to. <laughs> Look at his slogan. It's easy, vote Yeezy. Is that his whatever thingy? Yeah, look at his... his uh, his uh, campaign, uh, what, what do you call that? Is uh, promises, I guess. He's got it all: the modesty of Donald Trump, the boundless likability of Hillary Clinton, the political look, the political experience of Ben Carson, the winnability of Lincoln Cafe. I, I, I'm not sure who that is. Uh, the smoldering sex appeal of George George Pataki. The love of big ass of big or the the love of big ass of Chris Christie. Okay, that's kind of that's got to be fake. Hmm. That's definitely fake. The uh, the black Charles Manson. The black Charles Manson. Since he got him a cult going on, he ain't gonna be fucking. Uh, he he's already fucking probably. I guess he has some of the weirdest shit. Like his uh his songs and his album cover his all all his album covers eh, album covers are like really like cartoons and shit. It's really weird. Yeah, uh, ever since he's uh, Kanye's gone a little weird the past couple of years. I don't know. Let's so quit talking about him. He's being stupid. That and the, the fucking Trump impeachment that everybody's talking about. He's been going on for that for three fucking years. Mm. He's got one year left. Might as well just let him ride it out. The dude thinks he gets tan or he gets orange from incandescent light bulbs. Yes, I heard. You can't <laughs> fuck with him. No. You can't tell him anything. He thinks he tans from light bulbs. Yeah. Okay? This doesn't happen. No. He rubs, he rubs pumpkin spice all over his body. Yeah. That's how he gets fucking orange, okay? You can't talk to a man that thinks light bulbs make him orange. You just can't do it, okay? Right. You just just drop it, all right? <laughs> just fucking drop it. You can't impeach him. I mean, I mean he's just going to tell you to fuck off and you're fired. Yeah. Like, he literally is just going to fire you for saying that light bulbs don't turn you orange. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not tired of it. That's all I hear all the fucking time. Is talking about him and all the bullshit that surrounds politics and all that stuff. I hate that crap. I just hate politics, honestly. I, I can't. I can't talk about them. I can't. I can't do it. I don't know. Cannot do it. Also, been looking at new places to go on vacation this spring. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. What are you thinking about going? I don't know. Something cheap. I was looking up. I was like, you know what's cheap? Fucking Myrtle Beach. Said we could, and I was looking up on VBRO, and they have like condos that's like a hundred feet away from the beach, and it has its own pool, and it's fifty five dollars a night. It'd be like for seven nights, it'd be like four hundred bucks, and it's twelve hours to drive down there. And I would just drive down there instead of flying, and we could like leave at midnight. You drive six hours, I drive six hours. I would rent a car, and then we could be down there. I would just rent a car, honestly. I don't know. Hopefully, I I want a new vehicle by then, but <clears throat> we'll see how that turns out. Right. 
Yeah, but that that sounds fun. Uh, you don't want to go on another cruise? Fuck no. <laughs> Why not, Ryan? Tell me why don't you want to go I wish all of them would sink like the fucking Titanic. With nobody on them, though, right? I don't know. Some of them people... <laughs> some of them people stay on there. <laughs> I mean, they can't really get off that fat. Them fat, useless pieces of shit. <laughs> Still in my chair when Ryan, I get up. Ryan's serial killer gene is coming out right now. His lack of empathy for people. I know, serial killer. You, did, did, do you not remember fucking... Uh, there were people bigger than me on there. And, like, do you not remember, like, the guys running down our hallways with whole toilets? Because them fat fucks sat on that damn toilet. Whole toilets? Yeah. I don't remember that. You know, I saw no. it three or four times when we were there. Really? Yeah, I remember they running down the hallway with these toilets because them fat fucks sit on it and fucking knock it off the damn wall. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. That's why I didn't sit. I hovered that whole damn trip. I I sat down on it. I didn't. Well, that's because when the fucking waves hit you, man, you can't really stand there and fucking gargoyle over the toilet. I don't know. I sat right down on that damn thing. Yeah, there was so much. I remember the hallway smelled like shit, like for two days in a row. It's disgusting. They lost my fucking bag. There's lines for 20 minutes for the goddamn salad bar. Fuck, no, nobody eat fucking salad. I don't know why everybody's lined up at the fucking salad bar. All it is is 400 pound people. It's just it's to get the iceberg lettuce, man. Nothing but fat fucking people and fat fucking kids on that goddamn ship. <laughs> the putt putt course is always crowded. Can't even get a bagel in the morning. Bunch of pricks. Um, it's hot everywhere. The only decent place is fucking in the, uh, that damn theater where we watched the movie where we both fucking about fell asleep. Um, the fucking all adult only hot tub and pool is fucking always crowded by old fucking wrinkly ass 90 year old men and their goddamn speedos. It's fucking bullshit. I hate it with a fucking passion. If I would have known I would have survived after jumping off, I would have just fucking jumped off. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> or stayed in wherever. Where did we go? Bahamas? The first place. Where it was just a fucking desert island. It's not a desert island. It's a tropical, where did we go? It's a tropical island. We went to the Bahamas. I know. But what was the first one we went to? Oh, oh. We went to Freeport. Yeah. I'll fucking get a job at Senior Frogs or whatever. Somebody told me that I work with... And now, my current job, they said that their family goes to Freeport sometimes and stays in a, a, a cabin there. And I said, where? What fucking cabin? You gotta go across the bridge. Yeah, I said, what fucking cabin? I said, when I when I was in Freeport... Where we were at is a shitty inn. Yeah, I was like, I didn't see a fucking thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. when In the brochure, when we went to Freeport and then we went to Nassau, I was reading the Nassau brochure and it said... Oh, 007 movies were filmed here. This is the capital of the Bahamas. Uh, it's a very industrious place. Lots of entertainment and all this other shit. And then you go to Freeport brochure and it says, This is a... Uh, this Got a private island, beach. This, I uh, know. This <laughs> island. This island is known for its national park that has all three uh, types of ecosystems within one forest. And I said... This place is gonna suck. Yeah, <laughs> I said. Out of all the things you could advertise, you're an island in the trop in the in the Caribbean, and you advertise your national your national forest. Yeah, I was like, this place is gonna suck. Yeah, you got to drive for like ten minutes. You got to go up the road and across the bridge to the right into that other section of island is where it gets good because that's all the houses and where people live and shit. I don't know. That was just like a fucking rock that we landed on, like. That was Plymouth Rock. There was nothing there but a fucking senior frogs and a bunch of drunk white people. Jesus. That was that was a little ridiculous, to be honest with you. Yeah. And I bought tacos for $27. Yeah, because you're got three stupid. Like, this is the Bahamas. This ain't Jamaica. Pigs do not come very likely. <laughs> Pigs do not swim across the ocean. No. <laughs> like, you want Jamaica? They got pigs. Fucking... Bahamas, all they got is chickens and pigeons and shit. Oh, I should have ordered the chicken then. You're eating birds. They had to import that. Should have ordered the chicken. 
you know. <laughs> but it was okay. I don't know. It was okay. You just shit on it for ten minutes. Well, going on the islands was cool. Like the bar tour we went on, that was that was dope. That was cool. If we didn't feel like garbage town that whole day. Yeah, but being on a fucking just a boat, it's just ugh, gross. Yeah, if I ever go back to the Bahamas, I'm definitely going to. I've said it before, just stay there for a week. I'm not. I ain't fucking going back there. I would. Talk about a goddamn madhouse. Everybody honks the horn everywhere. They don't give a fuck. We were on that damn bus and that car was in the way and he's Bitch, quit honking at me. Well, it, fucking, if you were here, somebody get out and to be your honest, ass. though, to be honest, that's how it goes there. I know. And he was on a time crunch, and this is his job. He's got to get us where we need to go. They, if you honk your horn here at me, I fucking, I about throw something at you. <laughs> but it's like the, to them, I was just like everybody's honking everywhere. Nobody gives a fuck. That's a that's that's what it's like in a lot of cities. I don't know. We should just fucking not even did nothing. Went there, and then they had that fucking Bacardi. The Bacardi building was right there where we got on the bus. That was a bar, yeah. Was it a bar? Yeah. It was a Bacardi bar. We should have fucking spent two hundred dollars there and got shit pissed drunk and <laughs> on rum. Yeah, <laughs> just rum drunk. Fucking rented a sailboat. I'll be we Jack should, Sparrow. Should have got rum drunk and then went to the Gucci store. Right Tried across to fucking the swim back to the boat. Yeah, and then went to the Gucci store right across the street. Yeah. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. <laughs> or should I got drunk and then tried to ride them uh, uh, four wheelers they had there or something? Fuck yeah! I remember we were sitting there watching that one girl get on and she had no idea what she was doing. I know. And uh, they're just they they just paid the money and they're like, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> fucking see you maybe. Yeah, Bahamas where people uh, almost get run over by honking buses. And where people sell cigars and Ziploc bags. Um, but, yeah, so I was thinking of Myrtle Beach because Myrtle Beach, it's just cheap. It's easy. Everything's cheap there in, I mean, in, South, in Car- South Carolina. South Carolina's nice. Florida's and expensive. It's my, and it's my favorite barbecue. Florida's expensive. South Carolina's my favorite barbecue. I, I uh, North Carolina. I like North Carolina barbecue. Not Kansas? Everybody says Kansas is. I like Kansas because I like tangy. And it's got a little spice to it. I like Kansas. But I like North Kansas Carolina. Kansas is the mustard, right? No, that's South Carolina. Ah. Let me just let me just lay down the barbecues for you. Okay. Ooh, okay, you do that. Okay, Kansas is the tangy and somewhat a little spicy sometimes. Um, North Carolina is vinegary, very vinegary, all right. and it's okay. It, it's all right. Uh, South Carolina, my personal favorite is mustard, and I fucking absolutely love it. Uh, Memphis is like bold and sweet and sticky. Uh, Texas is smoky and flavorful. And I think that's it. Is that it? No. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I don't know. I think that's the barbecues. If anybody else has a an baby, Alaskan barbecue is salmon. <laughs> Alaskan <laughs> barbecue is Alaskan barbecue is salmon paste with clam juice. Yeah, <laughs> clam juice and vinegar. That's Canadian. Clam juice, fuck that shit. What? They uh, sell it here now. They always have. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not like a fucking exclusive Canada thing. It's disgusting. It's just like well, the Canadians brought the cl- the Canadians brought the clam juice over in 1777. I don't know the year after we signed the Declaration of Independence. I almost it's, said 1776. It's not very good, but yeah, that was that was my thank you for new vacation. We are. At news time, sir. News. Yeah. Let's news. get into some news stories. News, news, news. News, news, news. News, news, news. News. Nudes. I'll edit that out. Um. <laughs> anyway, so our first story <clears throat> here is from Maine. As uh, from UPI.com. This happened November 8th. When was that? That um, was yesterday. Yesterday. So, uh, on the 8th, a main school celebrating its 43rd anniversary of a Twinkie that has been on display at the school since being unwrapped by a science teacher. So, the teacher said the Twinkie is still the same size and shape. But its color has faded to a gray and its texture has turned rough. 
So this they're celebrating a 43 year old Twinkie that has that, that this science teacher has kept. And I guess it's it hasn't he, changed. Where much. did he keep it? He's keeping it in his fucking drawer or what? In his desk? But he just kept it out. Just out. <laughs> he said nobody's messed with it for 43 years. Out like on his desk or I don't know, maybe in a in a thing. But I got a uh, a news clip here that we can play. This experiment at a school in Maine has lasted 43 years and counting. The Twinkie was purchased in 1976 as part of a discussion about food preservatives. It has been sitting Goddamn. in a classroom all this time. It's generally the same size and shape, but has turned from gold to gray, and its texture gotten a bit rough there. For the record, a spokesman for Hostess says the modern day Twinkie looks like a sponge. Shelf life of 65 days. Yeah. It seems like a long time for a baked good. 65 days. They're good. <laughs> and then they go into their bullshit. So <laughs> they're good. It's a vegan <laughs> vagina. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Just put you a hole in it. <laughs> Might as well. Um, so there you go. And uh, I'll post a link to the video and a picture on the social media. So go follow us at the Comcast Facebook page or Facebook group page and Instagram. Bitch. And if and vegans were not shitting on you, there's nothing wrong with your diet preferences or your Oh no. Or your animal or your animal loving preferences. Mm. I I have friends that are vegan, so don't take it personally. I have friends that are animals. Yeah, so. so don't take it personally. We're just having a little bit of fun, okay? And it's not our fault that your pussies look like 45-year-old Twinkies. Oh, now you're just making fun of them. No, no, I'm not. Anyway. <laughs> so, I don't know if you've seen this. This is actually really cool. I actually shared this on Facebook, and I will share this to the Comcast Facebook page because it's just very interesting to me. You think anybody want to read that giant... Fucking it's not that it's not that big, so it's huge. So this is the heart of a blue whale. I've seen it. You have? Yes. This thing is it's it's fucking giant. Like it's it's literally massive. And so this is the heart of a blue whale, and I I will show this to the Facebook page. So this is the heart of a blue whale. Um uh, which they can weigh an excess of 1,300 pounds. The heart alone can weigh 1,300 pounds. Uh, they're, and they're roughly the size of a small car. Uh, the, the, the gigantic heart, uh, it beats 8 to 10 times per minute. Yep. Can you imagine that? It only blood. beats 8 to 10 times per minute. That's ridiculous. That's literally, uh, what is that? So, every 6 seconds... I don't know. It beats? So if it beats 10 times a minute, that's six seconds. Yeah. But also the holes in that fucking thing that has to push a lot of blood through. So right. So I get it. So. So um, it can also be heard from two miles away. I'm guessing that's underwater. Uh, yeah, probably. So. The heartbeat. So it, can, so it can be heard beating for over two miles away. Their arteries are so large that uh, a full adult sized human can swim through them. Shit. Um, at birth, a baby blue whale is already 25 feet long. God damn, that's a that's a big puss. That's a big old snatch. <laughs> Quit being fucking gross. <laughs> that's a giant vagina. What, what are you talking about fish pussy for? That's the, that's the king ton of, of vaginas. Oh, it's also a baby. A baby 25 foot long. Just because a, a baby's vagina is huge doesn't mean you... Have to talk about it. <laughs> Jesus. I think blue the blue whale is the biggest babies, I guess. I don't know. You know what the second biggest baby was? You. <laughs> <laughs> so the size of You're the one that still wears diapers. So the size of an adult killer whale is the size of this fucking baby blue whale. Yep. Um and it can uh, it can drink up to 150 gallons of milk a day and gain as much as 200 pounds per day. Holy fucking shit! Holy it's you me. at a buffet. No, it's not. God damn! This the we need to introduce blue whales to Golden Corral. They never fucking die off. Yeah, I don't drink milk. <laughs> uh, they feed almost exclusively on krill, uh, and if krill or small shrimp like invertebrates. Um, 
On this average, isn't fucking Discovery Channel. On a, okay, so the krill, the kriller. If you don't know what krill is, krill are very tiny. They're only like a couple centimeters big, um, and they eat four to six tons of krill a day. That's insane. That's insane. So as an adult, they can grow up to 110 feet long and weigh up to 180 tons. Holy shit! That's a huge, bitch. That's a huge bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's what? That's, um, what is that? 200, that's three, that's 320,000 pounds. How did I do? You're throwing math at me. Not, I'm not. So blue whales are the it. largest animals to ever existed. And this heart is fucking massive. Yeah. You know, you know, what's really, what's really cute about how big this heart is. You say what's really cute. Yeah. Nothing. It's the, disgusting. The amount of love that come, can come from it. I guess. Think, think of how much love comes from that. It looks like a fucking nutsack. Think of how much... <laughs> think of how much... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like a heart at all. It looks like a pair of balls. <laughs> right there. Cut that out. If you just cut that out, I wish I could zoom in. <laughs> if you just cut that out. Cut the artery off. It's like a giant nutsack. (laughs) Or what Santa Claus's ass looks like sitting around for one night. (laughs) It's disgusting. (laughs) A lot of of love can come from this heart. Yeah. (laughs) Or a fucking ass smacking love. (laughs) Wow. So, that's all I got for that. All right, good. <laughs> Fucking boring. All right. I got one. Mine's pretty good. Okay. So, this is also from UPI. This was November 2nd. Uh, so, police in Florida are seeking information on the disappearance of an unusual piece of property. Slash, slash. A 300-pound Bigfoot statue. Yes, Bigfoot's missing. So the point, wait, where? Boynton, Boynton Beach Police Department said the eight foot tall Sasquatch statue was stolen from in front of a store. Police are asking anyone with information on this missing statue to contact detectives, and I'll give you all the information here in a second. So if you see fucking a eight foot Bigfoot statue, um, you can call. Detective Daniel Whitefield at 561-732-8116 or you can go to at Crime Stoppers PB. And I have a picture. I'm sorry. Did you say Crime Stoppers? Yeah, Crime Stoppers got involved. <laughs> <laughs> the crime, crime Stoppers alert. There's a Bigfoot statue that has been stolen. And I don't know if I told you about the people down the road here from your house. They have a, a five foot tall one. Out in front of their house. No, I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's a size watch statue that's like five feet tall from out in front of the house. We should steal that fucking thing. So I got a picture of the tweet and also posted on the social media if you guys want to check it out. It shows a picture of the... I'm just kidding. We're not going to steal that statue. No. It has a picture of the Sasquatch. Anyway, this is a tweet from the uh, Boynton uh, Beach Police. So it says, hashtag Bigfoot is missing. Someone stole the 8 foot 300 pound Sasquatch statue from in front of Mattress Monsters with a Z. <laughs> mattress Monsters? What's the, what is the, what does the Bigfoot statue have to do with mattresses? I don't know. Mattress Monsters with a Z. Um, last month, if you've seen it or know who has it, uh, you can call a detective or Crime Stoppers. Or oh, there's also another number, 800. Five. Don't fucking fuck the number, okay? I'm trying to help him out. <laughs> Here's a picture. Oh shit, that is a big ass statue. Yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty detailed. Bigfoot is missing. This is an actual post. Yeah. This is a tweet from the Boynton Police. Department. I said that. Bo- Boynton P. Boynton Beach Police. Is this in Florida? This guy yeah, from Florida. That's Florida. Of course it fucking is. And what a coincidence, we have another Florida story. Oh today. boy. It's a Florida episode. Okay, this is a big ass statue, but 
Somebody mattress had to, monsters. Somebody had to break it. I blame mattress monsters. Is it mattress monster statue? Yeah. I can't mattress say mattress monsters five times. Like faster. I don't get how you've had it and not didn't didn't put a camera up or nothing like that. Like because somebody of course would steal that and it's obviously It's a fucking Sasquatch. Who's gonna take it? That's probably a lot of money. Somebody did fucking take it, dummy. <laughs> oh, That's yeah, why this is happening. You're fucking right. <laughs> you're and it's fucking Florida. Right. They'll fucking take anything. You're fucking right. Jesus. Holy shit. That is fucking awesome. I'm, I'm blaming Matt. God damn, fucking set the paper on the candle, you fucking <laughs> retard. <laughs> Stop saying the R word. Sorry, it's how I talk. Fuck you. <laughs> but you're the one that's going to set the whole fucking house on fire. I blame mattress monsters. I'm blaming you. You're fucking they're using, short. They're using the eight foot. Arms. They're using the eight foot Bigfoot, the eight foot tall Bigfoot statue to test out the mattresses on cruise ships. Oh, they're just picking him up and throwing him on mattresses. Yes, huh? test them out. So test out the mattresses on the cruise ships. No. <laughs> so test out the toilets. Jesus. <laughs> Hashtag uh, stronger toilets for carnival. <laughs> yeah. Stronger everything for Carnival. Oh, that shit looked like fucking old Vegas. Oh yeah, it was fucking great. All though. shiny and gold and shit. It looked like the MGM. I can I could I could feel the STDs crawling on me off the bar stool. Yeah, that was ridiculous. I want to fucking broke. <laughs> Piece of shit boat. Piece of shit boat. <laughs> we love you, Carnival. Fuck no. <laughs> Send me too many goddamn emails. Give it up. I ain't coming back. I ain't coming back. Fuck no. Fuck the, that boat. A carnival sends you emails like pomegranate has seeds. Yeah. Every day. <laughs> Too many goddamn seeds. Too many goddamn seeds. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay, I do have a little poll for you. I do have a little little quiz for you. Okay. So, Ryan, would you rather accidentally send a message meant for your boy, boyfriend and or girlfriend no. okay. to one of your parents or your boss? Would you what? Would you rather send okay, let's would you rather send a dick pic to your parents or your boss? Um and why? It just sent a message. A mess um uh, send a message meant for meant for somebody. If meant for your girlfriend. I'm just saying. Like you're sending something really like Okay, that's it. Okay. Just the text message, okay, but I accidentally sent it to my parents. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. it has to be embarrassing. It has to be an embarrassing one. Would you rather send it to mom or or uh, or your boss? Probably mom. De- definitely. Definitely. If I'm sending a dick pic, I'd rather send it to both of my parents at the same time than my boss. You know why? Because my parents can't fire me. I'll just say it was somebody else's. They so, told me to send it to you. Here's the thing. The poll was, yeah, the, so I voted. The poll was 59%. You boss. voted your boss. I would rather say, wait. No, I, I voted parents. Oh. But the, the, the people said 59% boss. I voted for parents. I guess. A lot of people don't want to keep jobs. So over 41% put parents. I, I, I guess people don't want the parents to see their little freaking ding-dongs. Well, it just said a text message. You're the one who came up with ding dongs. Sorry, people. We are farting up a storm in this fucking studio. Oh, it's fucking bad. It is fucking bad. My chair's got a hole in it. I got straight dad farts today. It's yep. terrible. Oh, God, Jesus we're just marinating in our own fucking barbecue sauce here. Well, I had Arby's last night. Look out, Kansas City! Here comes Indiana barbecue. I haven't had Arby's in forever. Their fucking s'more shake. Oh, Jesus Christ! So good. Oh. You know what? You know what Indiana barbecue sauce would be? I don't know. You just take a fried tenderloin and you blend it up with mustard and ketchup and pickle, and there you go. Meth and salt. <laughs> meth and salt. No. Meth and salt. You take a fried tenderloin with a meth, salt, and mustard. Yeah. And that's that's your fucking Indiana barbecue sauce. Yep. Fuck yeah. So, Snoop Dogg, I got a quiz for you. Another quiz. So, Snoop Dogg says a famous celebrity... Is the best joint roller he's ever met in his life. Really awesome. Here's the here's the choices. Brad Pitt, Miley oh, Cyrus, Seth Rogen, or Rihanna. Seth. Seth? It's either Seth or Brad. 
Either Seth, so Brad Pitt, Rihanna, Molly Cyrus, Seth Rogen. You're going with Seth? Yeah. The answer is Seth Rogen. Woo! Seth Rogen, he said, I we don't. We smoke a cross joint. He said, I don't like to share compliments I've been given, but Snoop Dogg told me I was the best joint roller he's ever met in his entire <laughs> life. I'm surprised it's not Willie Nelson. Yeah. I listened to an interview he did, and uh, that Snoop Dogg did, and he's like, who do, uh, who do you think actually outbeat you in smoking? And he's like, well, I've done, I smoked with a lot of people who uh, actually, you know, outbeat me. I couldn't hang with them. He's like, Willie Nelson said Cheech and Chong. Um, who else did he say? Uh, who's another one? He said Doug Benson, I think. Yeah. Was up there. But the, com- the comedian Doug Benson. Yeah. I have another quiz for you. All I'm right. Just, I'm just quizzing back to back. So... Uh, Joe Rogan, which a lot of you people probably know who Joe Rogan is. So Joe Rogan has revealed uh, he's related to which rock band frontman? Bet you I get this one right too. Jared Leto, who is the lead singer of um, fuck. God damn it! I like their I like their band. Five seconds to Mars. Yeah, of 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 three seconds to Mars. Uh. 30 Seconds to Mars. Yeah, that's what I said. Jared Leto, who's the lead singer of 30 Seconds to Mars. Um, Gerard mm-hmm. Way, who is the lead singer of um, My Chemical Romance. <clears throat> uh, Derek... Uh, I'm going to have to Google him. Derek Wibley. Uh, Derek Wibley. Busy D. Um... Oh, shit, he's married to Avril Lavigne. Oh, was. Was married to Avril Lavigne. Sum 41. So, uh, Derek Wibley, who's the front man for Sum 41, or Pete Wentz. That name sounds familiar. Who's Pete Wentz? I don't know. Well, I want to Google it now. But he's not a front man. I thought he was related to a drummer. Pete Wentz? No, No. it said front man. Oh, Pete Wentz is the lead singer of, um, I don't know. Taking too long. Hold on, sorry. I'm sorry, the fucking, don't leave dead air. I don't know. I just burped chili. Anyway, it's not him, let's just go back. Okay, fuck, Pete Wentz, okay. So, Jared Leto, Gerard Way. Gerard Way. You sure? Yes. How do you know? Because I listened to it the other day. <laughs> and I Fuck. Heard. It's Gerard Way. So <laughs> speaking on his podcast, Joe Rogan Experience, he admitted that the My Chemical Romance frontman is his cousin, but that they don't know each other. Two for two, bitch. Fucking piece of shit. You didn't even have to go through that whole Google shit. You're I know. terrible at Googling, too. Uh, sorry, I need fucking help here. I, I need a fucking laptop. That's what I need. But uh, that would make it a whole lot easier for me. Need at least one more set of fingers. Yeah, we need a uh, producer is what we need, but we are too poor for that. It's me. Oh, you fucking get on there, fucking sausage finger keyboard man. I'm recording, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck you. All right. Last story I got for you. So 17 people were busted in a child pornography sting in Florida. Two of them were Disney employees. <laughs> <laughs> them motherfuckers too old to be working for Disney. Uh, well, if they're wearing a fucking costume, you never see how fucking uh, fucking old they are. I guess. So two Disney employees uh, were arrested in a child pornography sting, orchestrated by the Polk County Sheriff's Office in Florida. Polk County, where is that? Um, they were among seventeen uh, arrested in an undercover sting operation. Um. Brett Kinney, 40, of Lake Alfred, Florida. It's Orlando. Is that is that, is that Polk County? That's where Disney's at. Orlando. Yeah. Uh, so, Lake Alfred, Florida, told investigators he was a guest uh, experience manager at Disney World. According to the release, Kinney was arrested and charged with one count of promotion of child pornography and 24 counts of possession of child pornography. Shit. Uh, a Disney spokesperson told CNN by phone 
that Kenny was no longer employed with the company following his arrest of the Mustang. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. They're just going to move him back to the fucking automated ones. He's, yeah. He's he's getting demoted to uh, one of the lollipop gill. Yeah, and during Christmas, he's a fucking bell ringer. <laughs> yeah. For fuck, he's a Santa bell ringer. Yeah. For Salvation Army. <laughs> fucking little pee-pee toucher. <laughs> In the release, the sheriff's office... Uh, Alleges that Kenny would search online for images of boys from toddlers to 10 years old. He was caught during a peer-to-peer investigation of alleged child pornography. When confronted by investigators, Kenny told them that he had an addiction to child pornography and had been, <laughs> had been viewing it for 22 years. Shit. 22 years. So he has been a, a prevert. Ever since he started at Disney, and I fuck the internet. The internet's only been around for what ten? No, oh, the internet's been around longer than ten years. Twenty? Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a second Disney employee, Donald Durr Jr. Oh, that's a prevert. Yep. That is a fucking sex offender right there. Name. That's a sex offender name right fucking there. Donald Durr. Durr. Donald Durr. That's double. That's DDJ. <laughs> Name, name's DJ for short. Or you can just call me Junior. Uh, was also arrested by the Polk County Sheriff's Office. Uh, Durr, 52, uh, Davenport, Florida, told investigators he was a custodial worker uh, at Walt Disney Resorts. He was arrested and charged with eight counts of possession of child pornography and one count of uh, promotion of sexual performance by a child. Uh, Durr is on unpaid leave. Huh. Unpaid leave. Yeah. I heard that the first time. What the fuck? What do you mean? You don't put somebody on unpaid leave. You fucking fire them. Well, they're not getting paid, so it doesn't matter. Fire them? No, unpaid leave does not say fired and put in jail for child pornography. Uh, unpaid leave means you still got a fucking job. You're just not getting paid right now. Oh. Investigators discovered an electronic tablet with three images of child pornography. And oh, we only had three. <laughs> only? Yeah. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. No, I started looking at a dude's butthole for like three seconds. <laughs> Same. Just a little, bit, <laughs> a little bit younger. Shut up. No, it's not the same thing. Yeah. Um, three images of child pornography. Yeah, but they had tattoos. <laughs> and a DVD. Oh, what? And a DVD created by Durr nine years ago showing explicit images of a child. Oh. Ooh. Made a little home video. Okay. Um, Durr described himself during an interview uh, with detectives as a pervert, but not a monster. True that. <laughs> Oh, shut your, the fuck up. Got your back, brother. Fuck off. <laughs> We're not representing preverts at Disney World. No, fuck that guy. Okay? CNN has reached out to both of the men for responses to the charges they face, but it's not yet her back. You fuck it. You're not going to. Uh, CNN is, uh, has not determined whether they have legal representation. <sighs> God damn it. Not even fucking Disney World's safe. What a world... What a world! I mean, I I mean, you got every single happy moment of a kid's life in one place. Okay. And then behind Goofy is a monster. <laughs> yeah. Behind Goofy, let's okay. Goofy wants to fuck your kid. All right. I'm not gonna say that the the new Goofy. I don't know what outfit they well, actually. See, neither of them were goofy though. One I, was I a, don't. I don't know what DJ wore. One was a fucking manager, and the other one was a custodian. So none of them were goofy. One scrubs toilets, and the other one is a a hotel desk operator. That's what they are. You think the one that okay? So DDJ, old fucking Durr, old Junior over there. Okay. D, what do you think he whistled? Do you think he? Do you think he like sung while he mopped the floors? I don't know. I like fucking kids, fucking kids, fucking kids. Wait, he's not a seven dwarf. Uh, <laughs> he's not a seven dwarf. Doesn't matter. That's Disney, like that. dude. That's fucking Disney. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. 
I'm I'm mopping up this. I'm mopping up this dirt like I'm among them. I don't know. It's like I'm like I'm gonna mop up like just, semen. I don't know. What? I don't know. <laughs> mopping up this dirt like I'm mopping yeah. up semen. <laughs> Sounds. Oh god, this, this. But he only got caught with three, so he's a you good know guy. what? You know what? This could be a great sitcom for a show. What? The the perverted custodial worker that works at Disney World. I, yeah, he fights the he fights the urge for his temptation. He's a good guy. He only had three. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. He's not a good guy. The other guy's a shithead. He quit. He's, he's he quit not Disney. A, he's not a good guy. He was. <laughs> no, he fucking wasn't. No, That's not his were. tablet. It's his, it's his roommate's tablet. I am a pervert, but I'm not a monster. Yeah. That's I mean, that's a title of a book right there. Yeah, he did kind of did throw it on himself. <laughs> he only had three. Fucking idiot. You're supposed to keep He's not that bad of a guy. He only had three naked pictures you of a kid. Look, fucking deny, deny, deny. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you can't be saying this shit. God. It was, it was his roommate. Oh my gosh. It's like fucking good and evil it's here. His roommate's at this fucking table. <laughs> roommate's tablet. It wasn't his. <laughs> it's like good and evil here at this fucking table. It's just like ridiculous. It's like there's a there's an even line of moral and fucking instability. And I just don't care. It's all on that side of the fucking mic right there. It's fucking you. I just don't care anymore. <laughs> you should. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, see, this is what I mean. Fucking serial killer, Gene. You have lack of empathy. Nah. <laughs> God. Okay, well, <clears throat> I guess on that note, we'll uh, fucking wrap this shit up. Yeah, we're an hour 13. Because once we get the kid fucking, I mean, there ain't really no going back. Well, you're the one that keeps talking about it. Gosh. Gross. <sighs> okay, well... You a, na- you a nasty man. No, fucking... <laughs> those two fuckers are, and you are for fucking saying whatever you said. No, you don't want to keep talking about it. You nasty man. <laughs> Stop calling me... The- don't say that. <laughs> you don't nasty s- man. Stop saying it like I'm your fucking brother. Yeah. Fucking weirdo. Cody, <laughs> Cody walks through the door wearing a thong. You nasty man. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay. Let's let's get the fuck out of here. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Thanks thanks everybody for um uh, tuning in. Uh thank you to uh Ryan for covering me last week. Goddamn right. Didn't do too bad. Fuck yeah. It awesome. surprised me a lot, so thank you for that again. We're gonna start a poll. People that we should kick Cody out. This is Fantasy Island. Bye. Yeah, we'll bring fucking uh, Donald Durr Jr. You can talk to him. Yeah, I could. So what's it like to mop the floor while you're thinking about looking at naked kids? He's, and he'd be like, oh, it was only three pictures. <laughs> Can't even wank off that and get old after two times. <laughs> only three. It's only three, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm a pervert. I'm not a monster. Right. Like it ain't that bad. <laughs> oh, 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 let's get the fuck out of here. All right. Uh, so thank you all so much. Uh, remember, you can follow everything we do at the Comcast. Uh, follow us on YouTube. Uh, send us an email. Uh, all that good shit. Uh, everybody have a great week. We love you. Love the fuck out of you. Uh, make this podcast great again. <laughs> no, we're not starting that. Okay. So I love the fuck out of you guys. Peace. We out. And remember, when life gets hard, when life gets you down, you make a lemonade. Okay. Bye. And then you milk that fucking pig, bitch. Peace. We out.